Hi, my name is Bobby Dees. I live in Winter Haven, Florida. I'm speaking on Consent Agenda H, Subject 4, Grant Award Farm Workers Career Development. I have a problem with this subject where it states WIOA, Workforce Innovation Opportunities, funds shall be available to lawfully admitted permanent resident aliens, refugees, and asylees, providing funds for education expenses and tuition assistance for eligible students. You cannot define legal entry into the U.S. The Biden administration declares migrants legal when they cross the border. It's common knowledge that they are not getting vetted. How do we know the immigrants mentioned in this subject were actually vetted? We don't know. But they are receiving benefits like housing, food and clothing, education and job training at taxpayers' expense. All the while, there are American citizens that need these same benefits. The money being used here should go towards improving the education and performance standards of children in Polk County. The school board is failing our kids. Student performance levels have dropped from 57th place to 60th out of 67 counties in Florida. They can't read very well and they can't make change for a dollar. I stress importance of improving their skills and academics and the hiring of qualified teachers that believe in teaching the skills they need in life to make it in this world and not socialist woke ideologies. This is what works. This is your job. There are NGOs, non-government organizations like Catholic Charities that have assumed the role of sponsors for migrants and getting paid to do this. Then we take over. The people who want them here should pay for it. So why are we paying for it? Let the NGOs do it. The law doesn't say we have to pursue federal grants to do it. The migrant children coming into our public school system speak, don't speak English, which makes it harder for them to get educated and takes more time and more teachers and staff and money to do it, resulting in a negative impact on our student performance ratio, the school board should stay in its own lane and educate citizens of Polk County. 